Come you blessed of my father, says the Lord. I was sick and you visited me. Amen. I say to you whatever you did for one of the least of my brethren, you did it for me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all, and your Spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, glad to have all of you for this Mass. And let us all join together as one family to continue to pray for the whole world. Our prayer is always more powerful. Prayers can bring victory and our prayers can open the heart of God. The strong faith in God. Let us all reflect upon the moments where we fail to feel and experience the presence of God in our Christian lives and ask for God's pardon, mercy and strength. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. And confess to Almighty God and to your brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and what I have helped him. So my fault, so my fault, so my most greatest fault. Therefore, I shall be very good. All the angels and saints and to my brothers and sisters, pray for me, the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us by giving us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Let us pray. O oh God, who alone the priest St. Canelius with the singular grace of charity toward the sick, pour out upon us by his hands a spirit of love for you, so that serving you in our neighbor, we may at the power of our death pass safely over to you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son. Who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Please be seated. Because of the fierce anger of Rezin and Abraham, 
and the son of Maya, because Haran with Ephraim and the son of Maya has plotted evil against you, saying, Let us go against Judea and cut off Jerusalem and conquer it for ourselves, to make the son of Tabiel king in it. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, it shall not stand, and it shall not come to pass. For the head of Aram is Bacchus, and the head of Bacchus is Rezi. Within sixty-five years, Ephraim will be shattered, no longer a people. The head of Ephraim is Somalia, and the head of Somalia is the son of Ramalia. If you do not stand firm in faith, you shall not stand at all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response over the song. God upholds the city forever. God upholds the city forever. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain, beautiful in elevation, is the joy of all the earth. God upholds the city forever. Mount Zion in the far north, the city of the great king. Within its citadels, God has shown himself a sure defense. God upholds the city forever. Then the kings assembled. They came on together. As soon as they saw it, they were astounded. They were in panic and took to flight. God upholds the city forever. Trembling, he took hold of them there, pains as a woman in labor, as when an east wind shatters the ships of Tarish Tarshish. God upholds the city forever. If today you hear God's voice, harden not your hearts. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus began to reproach the cities in which most of his deeds of power had been done because they did not repent. O to you, Corazin, O to you, Bethsaida, for if the deeds of power done in you had been done in time and season, they would have recovered long ago in sackcloth and ashes. But I tell you, on the day of judgment, it will be more tolerable for time and season than for you. And you, Kapanam, will, will you be exalted to heaven? No, you will be brought down to haste. For if the deeds of power done in you had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I tell you, that on the day of judgment, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom than for you. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, in Christ Jesus, morning. Uh, hope you're all doing well. You're doing well here. And we have read today's gospel reading. 
I would like to request all of you not to take uh, today's uh, gospel reading in a literal sense. Why does Jesus curse uh, these cities? And is he not uh, the Son of God? Sometimes we may ask uh, some critical questions. It is not so. Let us take uh, today's gospel reading in a positive way. Jesus, every day he comes to us in order to show his love, care and concern for us. Our Jesus, the Son of God, he is not the Son of God of punishment, but he is the Son of God of mercy, compassion and love. In today's gospel, Jesus is not a cursing or showing his curse to the cities, but he is correcting, correcting the mistakes that were done by the cities of Corazin, uh, Bethsaida, Child and Sidon. So during this difficult time, we are invited by Jesus, we are invited by Jesus to experience his love, to experience his mercy, to experience his compassion. When we come to him, he will make us his children. When we come to him, whether we are sad or we are glad, Jesus will give us consolation. And Jesus will continue to protect us. Let us uh, hold always God in our hearts. Let us uh, seek uh, His uh, guidance always our Christian lives. But sometimes Jesus speaks into our hearts from the Blessed Sacrament. Sometimes Jesus also speaks and Jesus also corrects our mistakes through our own friends and through our own family members. Let us uh, open our own hearts to Permit Jesus to come into our hearts to experience His own love, mercy, and compassion in our Christian lives. And let us ask for this grace and participate in this holy Eucharistic celebration. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become a spiritual drink. Blessed be the Lord for you. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord for the sacrifice and the hands, for the praise and glory of His name, Christ the Lord of God, the Lord of God. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your people, and grant that we who celebrate the sun's work of boundless charity, may by example of blessed Camillus be confirmed in the love of you and of our neighbor, for Christ of the Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts and lift the Lord to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord of the God and just right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father, more soul. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word to whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gain for your holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so the angels and all the saints we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim and say, Holy, holy, holy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy therefore these gifts be prayed by sending down your spirit upon them like you fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, in Sakova Sindhu, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. 
for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured for you and for many for the forbidden substance. Do this in the name of you. <clears throat> the mystery of faith was the Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that your will is worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that part of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, strength of the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis of hope. And Christian ambition and honor to the Chief. Remember your servant, Jewish God, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that who was united with your son in a death like this may also be one of him in his resurrection. Lord, we also pray for the whole world and the brothers and sisters affected by COVID 19. Lord, bless them, bless them and keep them, the blessed Lord, pray for them. Lord, we also pray for our parishioners who participate in this Mass. Lord, bless them, bless them, be with them and strengthen them in their Catholic faith. We also pray for all the brothers and sisters who have asked of our prayers. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them with the light of your face, have mercy on us all, we pray. That the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and the spouse Saint Joseph, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced in our life and the grace and glory of you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and power is yours. Forever and ever. Amen. Our mysterious command found by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be the name, thy kingdom come, thy will be the honor as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And for you as well as us, as we for you as this person is. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Grace to grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you such a person. Peace and give you my peace and give Look on our sins for the faith of your church and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will. 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with you. Yes. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Christ. We shall pass. Christ. The Lamb of God who take us into the world and our mercies. The Lamb of God who take us into the world and our mercies. The Lamb of God who take us into the world and Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called in the supper of the Lamb.
Greater love has no one than to lay down his life for his friends. Let us pray. Having faith upon the delights of the sacrament of salvation, O Lord, we humbly implore your faithful love that, imitating by your grace the charity of a blessed Saint Camillus, that Imitating by your grace, we may all we may also be made partakers with him in glory. Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Almighty God bless you, our Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let's all go in the peace of Christ. Thank you for coming for the Mass. God bless you. Have a good day.